We are all part of history. Wherever we are and whatever we're doing, world events shape our memories. And for most of the 20th century, those events were filmed and explained by Pathé. Pathé News captured history in motion, creating a living chronicle of a turbulent century. 1959 was the year in which Fidel Castro's revolution triumphed in Cuba. The outcome was no surprise to foreign observers. Cuba had become a tyranny under the Batista regime, serving as little more than a playground for the heads of organized crime and international gamblers, while most of the population languished in abject poverty. Castro, the son of a sugar planter, had observed the plight of his fellow Cubans while studying law. In 1953, he led a raid on Samami Barracks. The operation failed and he was put into prison, but his name became a symbol of hope for the Cuban people. By 1957, Castro had returned to Cuba from exile in Mexico and assembled a rebel army. In January of 1959, Castro swept into Havana and proclaimed the victory of the uprising. At first, America was friendly toward Castro. They had been opposed to Batista and were keen to keep their military base on the island. But soon, relations between Havana and Washington deteriorated as Castro began to follow socialist policies. The antagonism between the United States and Cuba was to bring the world close to nuclear war in 1962. Another island resolved its future during 1959. An agreement was reached that set August the 16th, 1960 as the date for Cypriot independence. In December of 1959, an election made Archbishop Makarios the first president of the island. Cyprus's past had been uneasy. 80% of the population were of Greek origin. But until 1914, the island had been under Turkish rule. During the First World War, Britain annexed the island and it became a crown colony in 1925. The Greek population demanded union with Greece, but this was resisted by the British. Soon, terrorists were trying to force them to change their mind. Intercommunal strife between Greeks and the minority Turkish population complicated matters further. Makarios emerged as the leader of the Greek majority and started to negotiate. He was deported from Cyprus by the British in 1956, but remained powerful. 1959 saw him return in triumph. 